Hello everyone. So today I'm gonna rewrite my very first 5M script that I made from scratch. And uh, I'm gonna try to make it a bit easier to modify. I'm gonna try to make it a bit more simple to read. And yeah, just basically simplify it and try to um, adapt some techniques or some uh, some stuff that I learned with it all the time I was um, I was scripting for 5M because this is like I said it was just when I started doing something for 5M so it has so much dirty and uh, like not nice looking code like what is this like come on I can do it just a bit more. A bit better now than uh, I did back then. And yeah, so this script, what it does basically, it has two commands. Uh, it's it's called a commands, which was supposed to be admin commands. And uh, I just added two commands, which is ATP and a fuel. A fuel just fills up the fuel to uh, full tank. Like if I write a, uh, I can't see the uh, it just refuels the car to the full tank. Yeah. And uh, another, it just allows me to teleport to one of the locations, which are already preset. So I can teleport to Los Santos ATP club, which is gonna teleport me to the club ATP uh, Paletto 1, Paletto 2. Yeah, just basically that's what it does. And it has like quite a few um, locations uh, where uh, players can teleport to. Uh, yeah, they're all here just like just like that. So uh, yeah, like I said, the goal is to make it a bit uh, leaner looking, to make it a bit easier to scale up, like a bit easier to add more um, uh, to add more commands if needed and uh, yeah so yeah so basically how it works uh, it has a couple of commands like I said a fuel and ATP uh, which are registered in client side and uh, uh, where is the server side there you go and it just checks for permissions and it checks if a commands ace uh if player is allowed to use a commands which are just in server config and uh yeah and then gets the command name as a parameter and then just uh triggers the event according to that which is again if i would like to add more uh commands i would have to keep putting else ifs which is definitely not as convenient as i'm um going to try to do and then yeah it triggers the event which is gonna fuel the car or gonna teleport player to one of the selected locations which are again going to through lots of else ifs say i already created a little resource what i'm gonna start from uh is i gonna create a new local variable called commands um commands and i will uh, make it an object a table uh, if it's lua and i'm gonna add a few uh i'm gonna add fuel is equal to this and uh, tp is equal to that um and uh, if I will need more uh, commands, I can just uh, write wherever. And I'm probably going to try to add some uh, more commands uh, later on, uh, after I'm done with basically uh, recreating all the resources as it is now. So why the previous uh, type of the resource is not as good? Because it has lots of one of the reasons is because it has lots of redundant code. Uh, it's okay for that big of a 
um, of a script which has just two commands but if I would like to add more commands I would need to copy paste lots of code and uh, if I would need to change something in that code I would definitely need to change it all of them so that's not as convenient so I'm gonna try to make as less redundant code as possible uh, so that will be much easier to, to modify something or whatever to do that I will use uh, I will use a class and I will register each command from a class. I'll create create command in fact I'll just there you go and I'm gonna pass name execution which is gonna be uh, commands uh, sort of function what it's supposed to do and then uh, description and args uh yeah and we're gonna add to that i will just uh create a local self uh ob table and just add name is equal to name for now we're just gonna hold a uh, name of our um of our um, command basically whatever you would write and uh, I'm gonna register command and I'm gonna pass self.name to it and uh, I'll just create a function here and I'm gonna, that, uh, gonna do that to false and I will return self So I'll use that to create to create each uh, each and every single command. To create the commands, I will go uh, through an array uh, or through the commands uh, uh, commands table, and I'll do in pairs commands. So what that's going to do um, is going to go through each command and it is going to take its name, which is the uh, name of the object inside commands object and command data is going to be everything that's in here. Um, so I'm going to, for each of them, I'm going to create, create command and pass command command uh, name for it uh, so what that's gonna do basically what's yeah what what it should do for now this is gonna uh, create two commands fuel and TP so if I would go ahead and stop a commands for now and start a commands Okay, so now I have, I should have fuel, yes, which does nothing. And I have TP, which does nothing either. So that's fine. So now basically registers those uh, two commands, which I added, um, which I added here. But obviously they are not doing anything because our register command, uh, I think is uh, completely empty. And ATP, uh, let me think about. I would restart would restart chat ATP. Okay. ATP is gone now, so I don't wanna to um, just be there anymore. Uh, so the previous commands they had a prefix sort of which was A fuel and ATP. So I'm just gonna create that as a uh, as another variable and call the prefix. I'm just gonna add a. So if I would like to uh, change it from a a a to b and a fuel to something like b to p and b fuel, I could just add this or change this. So for now, I just do a and uh, and add prefix 
like that. So now, if I will restart this, I will have a fuel and ATP, which is what I want. And like I said, if I would like to change this to B, I'll be I'll just need to do that. So that's one of the things that is uh, that makes it a bit easier to change whenever I want to, instead of like going through uh, each and every single command. Okay, so now once I got that, once I'm creating the command, what I can do now uh, is add some of the uh, some of the parameters for each command. Let me think what is uh, what is going to be different on each command. Let's say I want different groups. For example, I want it to be uh, available for admin and super admin. Oh yeah, I just wanted to mention that in this um, script, I'm not going to use uh, player aces like I did in this one. Instead, I will use just uh, ESX groups, uh, which is just a bit more convenient, I think. Yeah, so I'll just import ESX for that. Uh, okay, so now once I got groups, I will add this. And let's say for this, I want groups is equal to moderator admin, oops, admin, and super admin, yeah? So, in theory, this uh, command will just be accessible by admin and super admin, and this one will be available by uh, those two and moderator as well. Uh, we're gonna add as well is, um, I guess I'll add description, which will be equal to uh, teleports admin to select the location and this one is going to be description is equal to uh refuels car and this sitting in uh okay and now inside of this i will add execution is equal to function which is gonna have, which is gonna have location and probably player ID. Okay, so that is gonna be our execution function, which is gonna be executed when uh, we enter the command. Uh, we're gonna add the same to our fuel um, uh, to our fuel command, and we're gonna do. I will add amount of fuel, or yeah, I'll just add amount uh, fuel amount as a. Um, as an available uh, parameter as well. Oh, and I would need player ID as well, as well, yes. So player ID and fuel amount is what this function is gonna accept. Um, then each command will have to have arguments. Uh, this, arg uh, this one is gonna have one argument I'm gonna call name fuel amount. Uh, I'm gonna add required require Wait, required yeah required is equal to false. Uh, so basically, if player is not gonna enter uh, amount of fuel he wants to refuel his car with, just gonna fill up like full tank. And uh, description again, description of this uh, argument is going to be uh, amount of fuel to add to set maybe, because we're going to use it to set. 
uh, because as you as you can see in this, it has um, I added suggestions for each command, and uh, they have their own description, and each parameter has a description as well. Yeah, that's the name of the parameter, and it has a description as well. I could have just probably called it help instead of uh, description. I'll just leave it to description. That's fine. And I'm gonna add args to this, which is gonna be name called um, oh wait, I just added that. So let me do it like this. So there is yeah. Uh, so that's array of uh, of a num of a table. And name of this is gonna be tp lo just at location uh, this one is gonna be required dot is equal to true and description is gonna be equal to location or I'll just do available locations and I'll leave it like that uh, because I would like to add each and every single location automatically, not just hard coded like it would be club and ls and whatever. Uh, so I will just try to make it that each and every single location is going to be added automatically from my config file or wherever, where I'm going to have all the locations available and uh, all the chords. Okay, so now I have this uh, basic properties for each command. Uh, so there's the fuel command, which has uh, whitelisted groups, description, execution command, which is empty for now, and arguments. So what we're going to do is I'm going to fill up the, um, the functions that I need. Uh, both of these commands are going to have to do the actual stuff in the, in the client side. So for that, I will need to register a couple of uh, a couple of events on the client side. To do that, I will do something like, yeah, I'll just uh, uh, I will just uh, register a uh, event, a command, um, and I will call it something like. Command TP, if I'm gonna call it TP, yeah, that's fine. I'll just call it Command TP, and that's gonna accept a uh, mm, that's gonna accept cores, and that's it. I think that's all I would need. And then for the other one, uh just call it fuel and uh, I'll call uh, and I'll add amount so if I would have a look at my previous uh, commands execution actual execution uh, I could copy a little bit of that and add it to my uh, to you see my command handler uh, I mean event handler so I'm gonna do something like if is bed in any vehicle I should create bed first local bed is equal to get layer bed minus one nice. and um else uh I'm just gonna give callbacks for everything like through chat message. So if there is any uh, notification needed to if I need to notify a uh, player by somehow I just uh, use chat message and I'll say you are not in a car. And then, let me just see. Oh, uh, 
I was just trying some stuff and trying these uh, uh, functions. I mean, this is really not necessary. And I'm calling this function, which is just setting the amount of fuel or uh, using the legacy fuel um, resource. So, okay, I need vehicle. And to get vehicle, which is going to be equal to get vehicle that is in. And I'm uh, gonna have to do amount. I'll, I need to remember to convert the amount to number. I can uh, just do that here and just so, just in case. Or 100. So if this is null, then I'll just uh, set fuel to 100. Um, NTP is gonna, uh, let me see, what was this doing? NTP just sets location to that, okay. So, local pad is equal to get player pad. And set entity chords to, no, why did I do that? I just create I got a player pad and I uh, didn't even use it. Okay. Okay. Chords. I'll just add chords like this because I will have it in vector three. Uh, so I'm probably not going to need to um, to get each of the coordinates separate. Uh, okay. Once I've got this, I'll need to create some locations, which I'm probably going to just copy from here. And I will change a little bit. I will keep the coordinates in the server side just because I don't know. I think that's a bit uh, a bit better. Okay, so now I have a little table of a few different locations, uh, and I'm just gonna use straight uh, location names instead of using else, if, and whatever I used in the previous version. Okay, so let me see. I'll just make this a little bit bigger. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna select uh, locations, location. And that should select if I entered one of these, yeah? Um, but what I should do as well, uh, if I should, I think I should check if location exists, then, and if I can just do if location is equal to null, then return and if location so basically that's going to check if location is equal to nil so then it's going to return and not going to execute the code after and if it is available if it exists basically then i will teleport player so i'm gonna trigger client event and uh, the client event was, uh, let me just have a look. It was this. I'll just leave it like that. Player ID and location, location. Locations, location, yeah, yeah, it's locations, not location. Locations, location. So yeah, that's gonna access one of the entered uh, locations. I can just try. Oh no, it's not gonna work now. Okay, so we have an execution for this one, and. Uh, what else we must do is we must check if uh, group is 
uh, if player has the group. So to do that, I will get a next player. Oh yeah, I forgot to use swords. Ours. I will get the X player and if X player um, uh, actually I'll create a new function on this as well to check uh, uh, to check for the group local function as group uh, player ID groups is that how I want to do it? Uh, I think so and then instead I will just get the X player here player ID And if not X player, which is gonna just check if player is available. Um, I'm gonna return false as a default, and I will go through. Uh, is equal to one. I'll go through groups and check if any of them is available. And I mean, if if player has if player's group is one of the given groups of one of the whitelisted groups, as in, that's what I mean. Groups do if x player dot group is equal to is equal to groups uh, i, so that's gonna get one of them, yeah. Uh, then we're gonna return true, so that means that then player has group. So we have just this little uh, uh, this little function here, which we which we can use to check the group source and uh, should probably pass groups here, yeah. Group groups is equal to groups, and then execution is equal to exit. No, actually, I don't need these. I can just access them straight away. So groups, groups. If player has groups, oh no! If if player yeah, if player has groups, then we can execute the rest of the function, and else we're just gonna trigger client event chat message source. You are not allowed to use this so okay so if a uh, player has group then then we can execute the uh, command I mean the yeah the commands uh, function and in this case we need to pass source and and arcs probably uh, because arcs can vary from one to another one okay what I also should do is I should check if player um, entered all of the uh, required uh, arguments so to do that I will do check arcs args uh, Required args and args. I will have two. Okay, so I'm gonna call this required args, and this is gonna be args. Okay, 
So I will create another function. And I'm gonna check if player has entered uh, all of the arcs that are required. Uh, arcs D and if required args I are required and and args is not equal to nil I mean is equal to nil then we're gonna trigger client event chat message and I should add player ID here player ID and say that uh, you are missing argument number um number i and then we're gonna return false because this didn't pass through the check basically it says that the arguments required arguments were not entered now we would uh, return false and here we return true so now so if the arguments are entered the required arguments are entered then uh, we can execute uh, the function finally okay and uh, for each uh, command it's gonna have its own execution function and in this case in ATP case we're gonna have this uh, with with this and that so let's see I think that's all I need to make it happen ATP LS oh yeah I forgot a comma here um let me see that should be fine now in terms of commas ATP LS you are not allowed to use this uh, so I don't have oh that's the problem because it checks if player okay um, if X player that's what I should have done and why isn't it teleporting me now okay so that should be there uh, let's bring the location Oh, 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 that's because it should have taken R's instead of that. Yeah, that makes sense now. I should do the same here. Okay, so local location is equal to R's 1. That's what I need to do. And now it does it just how I want it to. Bullet 1, bullet 2, uh, club. And if I do something like that doesn't exist it doesn't show me an error how come oh because i'm not uh, i'm not giving an error so if that does not exist then we're gonna trigger client when chat message player id this location does not exist exist and now yeah it shows that our location does not exist okay so now we have our first command uh, running just fine now we need to do this now we need to do the same with another one so this one oh i just copied that and this one is Fuel player ID and I need to add two number arts 
or just one. And uh, yeah, I think that should do it as well, shouldn't it? Let's spawn a car. And let's try a fuel. Okay, if you do a fuel 60, it's gonna fuel to 60. If you're gonna do a fuel 10, it's gonna fuel it to 10. If you do 100, it's gonna fuel it to 100. That's how I want it to. Yeah, looks like it works just fine. Okay. Uh, the last thing I need to do is I need to I need to register each and every single. I mean, I need to add suggestions, just like just like I did here. Uh, where's the other one? Uh, yeah, just like I did here. I added suggestions for each of the um, for each of the command by using the description and all of that things. To do that. Mm, I could have actually added no. Nah. Yeah. Okay, so to do that, um what I'll do is I'll add where is my client? Okay. I'll need to create a new thread. So yeah, this part might be a little bit more complicated, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I will create a new thread which is gonna check whenever player is fully connected or yeah basically whenever the player is uh, has joined the server to do that we're gonna use uh network is player active yeah player id uh so basically by doing this we're gonna check if the player uh if the player joined the server, if the play and player has the connection to the server, then in such case we're gonna trigger a server event, which we're gonna call a command uh, player joined, and we probably don't need any uh, arguments. So. Whenever this command is, uh, I mean, whenever this event is triggered, um, we gonna load all of the data about commands, uh, and we gonna uh, we gonna add it to to the suggestions. To do that, to do that, uh, let me see. To do that, first of all, I need to get back uh, description is equal to description and uh, args is equal to args. And we're gonna have to store all of the commands data somewhere. So I'm gonna create a new um, a new uh, variable called uh, commands commands suggestions is equal to new table and we gonna insert this so local command is equal to create a command and then table dot insert uh jump uh commands, suggestions, and command. So that's going to be inserted to our uh, suggestion commands. And then each time player connects, we can add the suggestions. So to do that, uh, I'm going to do id is equal to source. Uh, for i is equal to one. Command suggestions do and, and we're gonna get 
you're gonna get each command uh, command suggestion is equal to command suggestions i and we're gonna uh, we're gonna create new args data is equal to that we're gonna go through each argument that the command has command suggestion uh, args uh, probably wanted to be that i is equal to one should actually do j is equal to one because i already have i um, and then we're gonna we're gonna do args data j is equal to command suggestion args j dot name and description is equal to command suggestion args j dot description yeah that should do so what that's gonna do it's gonna create a little uh, table of each command argument name and description uh, and we're gonna need that for each uh, for each argument to be added to the suggestions chat add yeah. add suggestion oh wait I was supposed to add this inside the uh, inside loop player ID we're gonna trigger this event for the player just joined and our command name is going to be this command data dot wait. Uh, yeah command data dot name and uh, command command data I mean command suggestion not command data I mean, command suggestion dot description they have description here just let me double check uh, yes yeah, so you have description and then args data which is gonna add all of the arguments Yeah, so that should add the suggestion. So let's see if it works how we want it to. Okay, um, then for no, field orgs. Oh, yeah, so I just realized that I had named this orgs and I was supposed to call it required orgs instead of that. Uh, so yeah, so now it passes the args and it uh, is accessed by name of required args here. So, ATP. Okay, so the issue was what, that um, I accidentally named this with the starting with the capital A and it was supposed to be with the lowercase a. Okay, whatever. So, yeah, so now whenever i try to uh use the command as you can see it shows me the location and if i do uh the other thing and if i start uh, entering the argument it shows me the location with available locations which is empty so to fill up the available locations uh i should think of something uh, I should think of some uh, way to fill that up. Um, and to do that, the only um, the only solution I can think of 
is uh, to come here and say if um, and say if command suggestion name is equal to tp then uh, we're gonna add uh, description args data And then we're gonna add args data j is equal to args data j um, plus if I mean for K is equal to one. Uh, to one, and then amount of uh, how do I call it? The locations. I think. Oh, I think that's how I call the locations. Yeah, the locations do. And uh, we're gonna do locations. locations okay so that should add the um, each and every single location uh oops oh i need the location let's do like this then locations key and value and pairs locations and then we're gonna get uh okay yeah that should do and we're gonna add a little comma here let's see if that does the job atp nope oh, because this was supposed to be atp so let's do prefix and that <clears throat> still not uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah that's because help and help that's what needed to do and there you go now we have all the locations but obviously we have comma uh, at the beginning I don't know what I could do I could probably could probably do that and then after and do something like this that this is equal to this string string sub um we're gonna do from one till the end minus two yeah there you go now it just removes the last two uh last two characters and that just comes up cleanly uh with no comma at the end and if i would try a fuel yeah it shows me the fuel amount and that just does it however i wanted it to do okay so that's great so so like i said what's cool about doing it this way is that it's much cleaner well i guess that's what i think <laughs> uh, it's much cleaner to read and um, it does not have too many duplicate or redundant code so i mean for this uh, when i had just two commands for this sort of uh, script it's not too big of a deal to do it this way um, and to make it more scalable but if you i would like to add more if i'd like to add more commands now all i would have to do is just to uh, add some parameters here and that's it and i would need to do much more really uh, so that's what's cool about it and that's what's cool about uh, making 
more scalable scripts or more scalable uh, resources or applications or whatever. Because if I wanted to add more commands here, I needed to do so much more. I needed to register a new command. I needed to add another if check here. I needed to add maybe some more code here. I needed to add uh, another suggestion. And that would have been like so much more to do rather than just adding a few lines of code here uh, to execute the command and to uh, and to add a few parameters for it, like the groups or, or the description. So yeah, like I said, in, with this small uh, script, it's not probably necessary because I think it's a little bit more code. Well, it's about equal amount of the code, but this is much cleaner to read and much uh, and much easier to modify. So uh, I think it's going to be that for this video. I and mean, I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, see you in the next ones.